Ahoy, Captains, and welcome back to the series that tells you how to shit on other players and avoid getting shit on. And in this particular replay, we're going to focus a little more on the not getting shit on part of the part of the process. Now, first thing as always, we're going to check out the team lineup. Now, no, your screen didn't freeze. I paused it. And right now we're going to go through and analyze the biggest threats and the best targets for us. Now, it's a double DD game, but there's two Kabaros on each team. So what that means is that we got to try to protect that Yu Yang as much as possible. There's plenty of radar on both teams. Any of those cruisers are really good targets for me. The biggest thing you got to look at here is the they have a Yamato and a Misashi. Two guns that uh, can really ruin your day, even if you're pretty well angled. Um, lucky shots can really nail you in, in the Kronstadt. And this thing does have a, it's a low citadel, but it is huge. And the ship's a big target and takes a lot of big pens, especially from Yamada, Iowa, Misashi, even the North Carolina. Turpitz is a little less of a threat. Um, but now that we've analyzed the threats, let's go ahead and continue the game. So the first thing I'm going to do is right now I'm keying the Yu Yang. And wherever that Yu Yang goes, I'm going to follow. Our division does not have a DD this time, like in the last replay. So if he goes to B, I'm going to linger near B to provide radar support and fire support as much as I can. So I'm keying him. I'm a little closer than I would typically like. Um, I'm kind of seeing if he's going to move on. My teammates and I are discussing where they're going to go. Uh, the other Kronstadt wants to go to A. I intend more to be between B and C. Now, I'm still, and now that I've seen that he's committing to C... I'm, I'm turning out and trying to get out of here before I get spotted in this turn. <clears throat> Still keeping an eye on anything that gets spotted, and I'm waiting for some form of information. At Minotaur, where he's going is not where I want to go. I can linger at this mouth in between these two islands, but that Minotaur is going full in, and with that radar lineup the enemy team has, that it is super not, not recommended. He's not really giving himself um, an avenue of escape except turning completely around and running, which is going to show broadside to most likely at least two battleships on their enemy side. Iowa was spotted, and boom, we have the Misashi. Now I'm going to take a pot shot at the Misashi now that I'm undetected, and I'm going to start turning out. I wasn't spotted, so their DD isn't in C yet, but he could be close. But I am turning out, preparing an angle. I do get a nice big hit, and as you can see, that Minotaur is not having a good day right now. The Alsace on my division is supporting me, um, which is nice, and then I notice all these cruisers bunched up, and I want to take these shots. Again, I don't want to go into that gap like that NC and Minotaur did, and I'm actually looking to go around and anchor on the southern part of the island uh, that the NC is passing right now, this island. So I'm not getting great shots. I think that buffalo is about to speed up. And so I aim a little ahead. I'm hoping for a nice good chunk here. But I really underestimated or overestimated his uh, pickup speed. And that doesn't end up accomplishing much. So I'm about to come around this corner. So the turrets on this thing aren't the fastest in the world. And I don't run expert marksmen. So I'm... About ready to get them to turn more so they're ready when I come around this side are you Yang's in a pretty decent spot he's already turned out uh, ready to go in case things get hairy but he does have another DD in the cap with him and that DD was just spotted and he's being supported by a Neptune now that Neptune is a very good target for my ship and I really want to hit him because I overmatched his armor and I can get some really juicy numbers off of him. And Neptunes, I, a lot of the ones I've faced don't really know how quick the reload on this thing is. So I prop a pre of radar as I come around the corner. I think the Neptune is just about to notice me. Are you Yang's getting rushed and he's stuck? I'm working on my turnout because right now, I'm going to pause real quick. I have seven ships aiming at me. Not, I, I can't go bow in here. I'll get eaten alive. So I'm looking to turn out. I'm expecting to take at least a decent hit from something here. 
by making this maneuver. And I, that was better than what I anticipated. So the Neptune is giving me broadside. I think he underestimated the speed of my reload and get a nice big healthy chunk off him. Uh, less ships are aiming at me now that I'm angled, but I'm still taking some decent chunks, specifically from that Yamato. And I really want this Neptune dead, so I'm risking a little bit more broadside here than I would probably like. And this eye was just aiming it on me. So, right now, I this as much as it looks like the enemy team is lemming training, they kind of are. But we really don't have anything to slow them down. So right now, they're not in a terrible position to Lemming Train. The reason I don't consider this a Lemming Train, and this map is very prone to Lemming Trains, and we talked a bunch about Lemming Trains in the last video. This one specifically, they're leaving ships around B. They are covering two caps with their whole team. They are still controlling enough of an area to where, this lem where a, le a Lemming Train really can only control one. So they're le some ships are staying behind to lend support to B while they take and, and pr try to push through C. And that's what I think they want to do. They want to push through C, maintain northern control, gain southern control, and then we can't get B at all. So knowing that, at this point, I know I can't anchor this side anymore. There's no way I can anchor it. They'll just push right through me. So I'm going to reposition. Now what I want to do is get undetected. <clears throat> But there's some issues with that. And you can notice 12.5 uh, is my magic number. I want to keep everything outside that range if I can help it. Now, you'll notice that the Minotaur is pushing into all those ships. I do get undetected, but if you notice that Kaba, he's chasing me down and that number keeps dropping. So what I'm going to end up doing is I need to deter him somehow. And so I'm going to take a pot shot at him. If I can scare him away from coming after me, then you can see he's about to detect me. At this point, he is. <clears throat> There's the spot. And now I'm going to take a shot at him because I don't want him coming at me. I want to threaten him away. I really don't want to be dealing with him. The Minotaur is down, and I'm the only thing. Me and the Alsace are the only thing on this flank keeping them from pushing through C. So I'm thinking of slowing down a little bit to uh, bait uh, that Misashi was aiming at me, or at least I thought he was. So I was trying to bait an overshot while I get undetected. And it's very soon where I'm going to start turning back in to get a better position. And what position looks good to me right now? On that same island, I was going to anchor him, but I'm going to anchor on the other side. So I have shots on them if they try to push into B, because our team is capping it right now. Our uh, My uh, division mate has gone in. And I'm just taking pot shots because I know they won't be able to shoot me because I'm crossing that island. Plus, their guns aren't pointed. And taking a nice chunk out of that Baltimore is always good. And judging that, I have, that I'm not spotted currently gives me two kind of important pieces of information. Neither of the DDs are spotting me. So they're not in my firing cone. And as you can see, the cob just popped up again. And he's up north. So I'm trying to kind of race to get to that position to where I can, they have to either angle against me or the rest of my team. I'm creating a crossfire. Because right now our team doesn't really have one. Uh, the Alsace is kind of providing one, but that Kerr first, our Musashi and the Amagi are pretty much giving the enemy the same angle. And this is why in battleships you really want to spread out because that's going to help you get more damage too. Especially when you have a, a Musashi or Yamato that overmatches, everyone views them as a bigger threat, so try to get a little ways out. This Baltimore's trying to rush for our Alsace. I think he forgot I was here or something, but I'm going to give him a quick little reminder that, hey, I'm here too. But at this point, me and this Alsace have him in a crossfire, and he's going to angle against the Alsace because he has, he's the bigger threat, gun-wise. He has, you know, 12 big guns, bigger than mine, and that could hurt him significantly more. I think I aimed a little too far ahead there. And right now, I'm also preparing to get in a position. This Baltimore is screwed. He, he's pushed without support into a crossfire where no one can really shoot the ships he's in a crossfire with. Alsace gets a 25 damage salvo and uh, takes that kill for me, but it's not a big deal. He's dead. Look at that Masashi 
And if that Masashi pushes, I'm in a really good position to start hammering him. I want to get closer to the island because I do notice that Iowa there. And that Iowa is a pretty big threat if he decides to rush me down. Right now, I still have the Alsace near me. Yu Yang spotted. I want to shoot him. I did see that broadside NC. NCs, you can sit it out really easily in this ship if they're giving you a broadside. And then I noticed the Masashi. He's a huge threat. We got a bunch of ships kind of shooting at Yu Yang. I should have aimed a little further back to maybe get the rear of his citadel, but all those shots are absorbed by the island. Now I'm almost in the position I want to be in. I think that I was sitting still, so I'm not too concerned about it right now, and I'm trying to... Now I'm in the position I want to be in. I want to get as much damage as I want on anything that tries to push into B. I am now... They are in a crossfire if they push. So they either have to deal with me or remove everything on, on our team. We saw she pushes out, so obviously I'm going to take that shot, but I underestimated how quickly a Musashi can slow down. The shells on this ship are kind of finicky, and now I'm trying to get my back turned and use those great firing angles. But I think I overturned a little bit here. But I still, most of that was my belt absorbing most of that shock. This is what I meant in the last video when I said if you angle this belt, which is like twice as good as any other tier 9, you can really and bait the shot on the belt, you can block even Musashi shells. So I take another shot at the Musashi. Not really sh I think my dispersion kind of screwed me there. And I'm still waiting to see when that Iowa pops up. And see, he's still not moving. He still hasn't committed to rushing me down. He's just trying to farm damage probably on our Kronstadt and our Musashi. Get a slightly better hit there, but then I see this Turpitz looks like he might be about to do something silly. Like, give me broadside. But he's not. He's paying attention. And again, you heard the clinks off the belt. No damage. So, right here is when something... When shit's gonna start hitting the fan. That Iowa is now about to push. He's kind of given up on shooting our Kronstadt. We have a Yamato in B, that's going into B. I have a Turpitz and now an Iowa rush me. Two battleships all of which can overmatch my nose. So angling is going to be key here and making the right decision on who my target is is going to be very important. Turpin is charging in. I'm aiming a little high. I'm trying to nail shots on his superstructure to deal more damage. But a lot of my shots right there uh, <laughs> hit, hit his turret. See Yamato, and this Yamato is rushing my ally Kronstadt. But... Before my shots can land, I'm pretty sure our Musashi outright. Oh no. I think it's my next shot that the Musashi destroys that Yamato. That Yamato is going to go down. He's in a crossfire with an Alsace, Kronstadt, and Musashi. He's not long for this world. I take my shot, but then there's the Musashi shots that are just devastating him. So now I'm back on the Turpits. I kind of ignored him. His shots have been fairly ineffective. Secondaries are annoying, but nothing crazy. I'm going to see if I could take out his turrets with this shot, and I take out one. He aims way too far ahead, but still gets a decent pen. So I switch to HE at this point, because I need to whittle him down. I notice the Iowa's coming, but that Turpitz, it has Torps. And I'm trying to predict when he's going to launch. Now, Turpitzes are pretty obvious when they do it, when they start turning out. It's typically when they Torp. Uh, I don't think this player is good enough to try to bait me into making a move by starting to and then not really firing. And now I got an Iowa on me, so I'm trying to steepen my angle against the Iowa so he doesn't have my nose. But uh, goes he nails my nose pretty much perfectly. I have to burn a repair to keep my guns going. And at this point I'm in a bit of I'm in a little bit of trouble. Turpitz looks like he wants to wants to uh, launch his torps, so this is when I hit my start going forward. I start charging forward. He's definitely torping. Notice how his turrets are looking past my ship. He's definitely torping me. Now, unfortunately, if his turrets were looking more to the front of my ship, that's what told me where his torps were going. I need one more shot to take him out. So I'm trying to keep my turrets on track. He hits my belt, does no damage, because I was angled. And now I gotta deal with an Iowa. Now we're gonna pause again. I have three options at this point. 
Notice there's a Misashi back there too. The Misashi, although he's preoccupied with what's in the center, so this is a one-on-one -on -one duel with me and the Iowa. I have three options. Number one, I ram him. Honestly, best choice I could do, um, in my opinion, considering my health. But I, I, I elect for option two. I want to joust him and try to kill him, stay alive. That way I can keep helping my team because, you know, we're up on points, but they, they still have two DDs. I should, probably should have taken the shot on the Yu Yang earlier. And we don't have a ton of health. So, my, now I did say there was a third option. I move past the Iowa and charge the Musashi, who is giving me a flat broadside. But I elect for option number two. Now I'm trying to get my angle. He's just, just fired a little bit ago. I'm trying to regain that angle so I can bounce it off my belt. I didn't get a Citadel there like I wanted. And notice how I'm maintaining this angle. This is going to make it a lot harder for him to do anything. I do pop a heal, try to keep myself alive, but I'm not doing the damage I want. So I aim a little higher on this one. And notice he has expert marksman because this turret is actually doing a pretty good job of keeping track. And here's where I find out why I shouldn't have done this option. Is that my gun depression is not going to be enough to hit his citadel. I am way too close. I can't hit his Citadel, I'd have to turn around. I try to slow down to like maybe throw off his shot, but it isn't gonna happen. He's gonna kill me. And he nails me square in the Citadel and annihilates me completely. I could have played that last part better, that was a mistake. And I'm not uh, I'm not afraid of showing my mistakes on YouTube. So the rest of this game goes out, that I was gonna prove to be a pretty big pain in the ass. And that was a huge loss right there, having that the Musashi gave the Yamato that octagon citadel and is going to be a problem. The Yamagi on our team, I don't know what adventure he's going on. I don't think he has the memo that this is a close game. But this is a, that was an example of where it, the battle wasn't going in my favor. And I found a position to make the biggest impact possible for my team. And, you know, almost 200k damage is a, is a pretty good result, in my opinion. Um, if you'd like to see more of this con content, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, in addition, um, I'm also trying to think of a good, you know, beginning saying for my videos. So we're going to have a little uh, comment contest or a contest as uh, the guys from uh, How Ridiculous call it. Give me a good starting line and I'll tr if I like it, I'll try them out. It can be funny, ridiculous, doesn't matter to me. I'll give them all a try. Or any of the good ones. And then uh, lastly, um, if there's a ship that you uh, would like to see me, you know, do an in-depth replay on, go ahead and post that in the comments below as well. But I think that that'll be it for today, guys. We do lose this battle. The Iowa kills our Kron. The Cleveland then charges an Iowa. And, you know, obvious, you can tell the obvious results. And as much as this Amagi was crap, I really don't feel like featuring his complete blunder at the end where he could have easily killed the Iowa and then just completely misplays and gets wrecked. So we're going to end the video here.